All right, so today I'll be showing you how to make a bounce pad. So the first thing you want to do is right click in your content browser, create a blueprint class actor and call this BP bounce pad. It doesn't, you can put this wherever you want to, or you can name it whatever you want. I'm just putting it in the main content folder for the purpose of the tutorial. And so now you want to open up your BP bounce pad. Once it loads up, you want to add a static mesh, and I'd like to do a cube because it's nice and simple. And press R so you can scale it. Scale it down just a tad, about like there. Maybe a little taller, something like that. And if you want to have more accurate scaling, you can go up here to your scale snap, and you can set it to the lowest value. All right, so next we are going to go to add component again and search for box and add a box collision. I'm just going to call this collision and scale this box collision to be about the same size as the cube. But make sure it hangs over the top of the cube just a little bit. So leave a little extra room like that and drag it up. And once again, you may have to set the transform over here to like 1 instead of 10. And that way you can really get it super accurate. And it doesn't have to be super accurate. You just kind of want it to hang up above the top of the cube just a little bit. Alright, so once you have it looking somewhat like this, we can head into the event graph. And inside the event graph, we want to completely delete all of this. And we want to click our collision and then right click in the event graph and go to add event for collision, collision, and add on component begin overlap. And off of other actor, we want to drag off and do cast to character. You can cast to BP third person character or whatever character you have as well. But casting to the actual character grabs a reference into the game mode that you have set up so if you have a game mode properly set up you can do this or if not then you can do cast to third person character as well like this and then off of the object you want to drag off and do launch character right here and then for the launch velocity you can set this to whatever value you like the z is the up and down so just for demonstration purposes I'm gonna do about 1500 that may be a decent number and so yeah we can compile save this minimize this drag our bounce pad into the level scale it up just a tiny bit something like that press play and if we jump on it as you see, we get bounced up in the air. Sometimes, if you see it's messing up a little bit, how we're standing on it, and it's not launching us, that is because the collision is a little bit weird, and you may have to adjust the size on it over here a little bit, like that, and then scale it outside of the platform, or the cube, just a little bit as well in both directions just a tiny amount and it just takes a little messing with it to get it perfectly right but then eventually it should work as intended all right so that was how to make a launch pad in unreal engine if you enjoyed leave a like comment your thoughts subscribe for more and i will see you in the next one bye bye